Hello there, my zealots. This is Joshua coming at you today. Hey, how you doing? Today we're going to talk about uh, authority and the different levels of authority. There are there are many systems of authority, and I thought I would break. I would at least share with you what they are, and then as we go on, I'm going to make more videos about how each one of them breaks down. All right, and each system of authority has its own authority within that system of authority. Once you understand these systems of authority, you really understand how God has planned everything out and how certain things have higher levels and higher hierarchies and everything else. And as long as we walk within these hierarchies, then God will bless us. I, I, there, I went into a lot of detail with these things. However, they're really intuitive, so it's not really, really hard to like remember them because of how intuitive they are, but there's a lot of them. Okay, so anyway. Here are the systems of authority. There are, I believe, nine systems of authority. Let's count. Okay, so we have word of God, one, authority of intent, authority of understanding, authority of experience, authority of gender, authority of household, authority of ministry, authority of station, and worldly authority. So this, there are nine. All right. So let's break them down. Word of God. That one's pretty self-explanatory. The word of God is just basically whatever the word of God says. That has the highest authority. God himself said, I put my word above my name. So therefore, the word of God is the highest authority. And there's a hierarchy within the word of God that we'll talk about in another video. But right now, we're just going to move on. So the word of God, highest authority. Next is authority of intent. If a person has a selfish intent, they have less authority than the person that has a selfless intent. That's just, you know, no brainer. Okay, if a person is selfish... They should not be in charge. If a person is selfless, they should be in charge. Make sense? Okay. Authority of understanding. I didn't have enough room, so it's just authority of understand because I ran out of room. Sorry. Okay. But authority of understanding is basically if somebody understands something better than you, they ha should have authority over it. Okay. If I can explain things in a way that helps people to understand them better than you can, I should be in charge. Okay. That's just... It's just how it works, okay? Authority of experience. Now that now these are all have so like the word of God precedes intent. The intent precedes understanding. Understanding precedes experience. So they're they're in order of authority. How they fall. Uh, these systems of authority all fall under one system of authority, which is the spiritual authority. This is this is the systems of spiritual authority. And how they all flow down. Okay, so. Um, authority of experience basically means if you have understanding, but I have experience, I have less authority than you. But if I have, but if, you know, obviously if I have a lot of experience in something, I should be in charge of it. However, if I'm trying to teach it and you have better understanding, you should teach it. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's experience comes after understanding. Understanding is more important than experience because you can have experience doing something, but not understand what the heck you're doing. That's why it has higher. Okay. Authority of gender. And that just basically means that men have more authority than women. Um, and women have more authority than children. That's just um, how it works. Um, yeah, and, and I think that the authority of gender also follows under the fact that men are, sorry, people, not only people that are, are have it, uh, the men have more authority than women and women have more authority than children. It also means that, uh, People that have more have more age usually have more authority than people that are younger. Um, but obviously, these things precede that. It's more important that these things are held than age or gender. Um, so, authority of intent, authority of understanding, and authority of experience precede authority of gender or age. Um, and then there's authority of household. And authority of household breaks down. Um, there is the patriarch which is the guy in charge of the household. Then you have his wives. Then you have the men servants that serve the husband. And then you have the maid servants that either serve the wife or the husband as a concubine. And then you have the children. And that's just the authority structure breakdown in the household. And then you have authority of ministry. And the authority of ministry is... Um, where does it go? It goes uh, uh, evangelist, which is the lowest... And then it goes pastor, and then it goes teacher, and then it goes prophet, and then it goes apostle. Uh, the apostle has the highest authority, and then it goes down to prophet, and then it goes down to uh, teacher, and then it goes down to pastor, and then it goes down to uh, evangelist. 
Um, they all have different jobs, and I'll go into that in another video. But anyway, that's that's the authority of ministry. Authority of station. Authority of station is uh, the authority structure that God has set in the future. And this is according to which resurrections we get. Um, if we have the resurrection of the just, as it were, then we would be a part of the 144,000 and we would reign as eunuchs and we would serve Jesus Christ. However, if we get the resurrection of the multitude, we get to be raised at the end of tribulation or at the end of tribulation, and we will be serving as priests. And so it, it, there's kings, priests, uh, servants, or the eunuchs, and then there's the serfs, and then you know those are the those are the authority of station. Does that make sense? Okay. And then worldly authority. Worldly authority is just any authority that is given to you by the world. If you're a cop or if you're a judge or if you're a security guard, that, that I'm talking like that. So like if I'm a boss, if I'm a manager, uh, if, you know what I'm saying, like any any worldly authority. If I work at the DMV and I tell you to do something and now you have to go do it because like that's worldly authority. It's been given to me. If I work for the, you know, if I'm in the military or Anything, anything, any kind of authority that the world gives you, that's worldly authority. In fact, uh, the way it should work is that any woman that has authority in this day and age should only be given to her by worldly authority. Or, actually, no, that's not true. Because she could have authority of intent, she could have authority of understanding, she could have authority of experience. Those, if she has those things, they should precede the thing. And, and also, if you are a woman, you should not... If you're a righteous man and woman has authority of intent, authority of understanding, or authority of experience over you, you should seek out a woman's advice on any given situation. And but a woman should not usurp a man's authority because that's she should stay here. But the woman, the man, should seek out the woman that has that authority of intent, understanding, or experience. Anyway, these are the systems of authority, which I think are pretty awesome. I just. If you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know. And I think I might make a series about this just to get every single one of these in, in a little bit more detail. You guys have a blessed day. You know I love God because I love virtue, justice, and salvation. Um, yeah. Take it easy. Bye-bye.